the reactions of the Year 7 students haven't surprised me. I, I knew that once they came to high school that they would love it here because we've put a lot of effort, and especially having a Year 7 team who's really compassionate about the kids. Um, the feedback from all the kids has been that, that they wish that they'd come to high school earlier. I think they quite enjoy having the structure of knowing that from you know 10.05 to 11 they're going to have maths every day or and that their timetable is really set so they know what the homework they need to do and it's, it's a lot of structure. Um, they've also enjoyed being able to have those strong relationships with the older kids through peer support programs or the sports programs and I think they feel like they've you know, got their older buddies and they quite enjoy that as well. The Year 7s have got lots of energy and they're really active, so it's something we've had to make sure we put in place. We've given them a designated Year 7 area, so when they come, um, they don't have any of the big kids around them and they have their own space. In here we put like basketball rings and four squares and all sorts of things and given them sport activity boxes and lots of lunchtime activities. Um, the older kids are quite happy to sit around and um, mingle and chat, whereas the younger kids want a lot more entertainment, so it's been about setting up um, like Lego clubs and book reading clubs and um, soccer matches and things like that for them. Cool. Currently with student services, um, my role is to manage the year, all the Year 7 teachers. So I have seven teachers that um, work only with Year 7s. We've done this model so that the primary school model is quite similar to the high school model where the students only interact with two main teachers on a daily basis. This means that they've built a really strong rapport with them. So I work quite closely with those teachers to support those Year 7 students. And um, we've changed the timetable this year so that the teachers um, only have those kids and then um, we can make sure that the pastoral care is really strong across the board. I was um, very surprised and excited to find that we'll be start starting at Ashdale Secondary College and I was nervous because it's a big school and because there's like year 8 to year 12s going there but it was a good opportunity. I was very excited because we knew that, I knew that, I, we, that we were the first people to come and we would be in new buildings and stuff. Um, we ran a range of different transition programs in preparation for the Year 7s arriving this year. Um, we have a designated transition where the students come up for two uh, consecutive Wednesdays uh, and they run a or participate in all the different subjects that they would get when they come for Year 7. So they do all the different learning areas. The unique thing about our program is that that is one component of a vast or much wider transition program. So when the students come on those two days from our cluster primary schools, they've actually been to the school a number of times previously. So we run um, programs where the students come up for um, dance classes after school. We also have a primary science program, which means that they're regularly coming up here using the science labs and um, they get the access to those facilities, but also it enables them to mix with the students from the other primary schools as well. In order to cater for the increase in student enrolments this year, we've had to employ a number of new staff. Uh, we employed 10 new staff specifically for our Year 7 team or to, to accommodate the increase in Year 7s. I think it was really important to prepare the students for, for Year 7. Uh, there's a, a lot of aspects to transitioning into high school which the students find difficult. Uh, finding the classes, uh, being comfortable with new teachers and a, a variety of different teachers in their, um, in their school as opposed to one or two that they have in primary school. So that comfortable uh, feeling that they get, that they feel safe and secure, which is a key part of learning in any uh, schooling environment and having that set from day one rather than have to build that as you went. Participating in science sort of transition um, definitely helps to build the social side of it because in science it's not an isolated thing. When you work in science you work as a group collaboratively working on experiments and, 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 and designing investigations and these sorts of things. So having that opportunity to do that in the secondary um, environment but also with um, in the primary science link pro program that we run uh, uh, students that aren't from their school as well. So they're helping to build that social capa uh, capacity with new students who they've never come across before in the context of science, which I think is really important. Well, there's more facilities here and you've got more opportunities to do more um, like science, you've got the bugs and burners and chemistry and you get like more um, options to do like cooking and homework and all of that. Also, there's more like people to be around and interact with.